Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist at the Tech Travel Geeks, and this is the Tech Travel Geeks side-by-side -side comparison between the Nokia One, released in 2018, and the Nokia 1.3, released in 2020. These are both affordable devices from Nokia, running Android Go Edition. Right then. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. Not only will you get these comparison videos from us, but also unboxings, reviews, and the Tech Travel Geeks podcast. Right then, the Nokia One series is the affordable entry-level smartphone series that kicked off in 2018 with the original gangster Nokia One. This device is, in a way, the one of the best value ones in 2018 in the sub hundred dollar price range. It offered as a very first on the market Android Go Edition, which is the cut down or re reduced capacity version of Android for lower specified devices. The main difference between the two devices, I think for most people will be the screen. The Nokia one has a 480 by 854 pixel 16 to 9 aspect ratio, 4.5 inch screen. So that's a relatively small screen, and it's the older 16 to 9 aspect ratio with pretty chunky bezels at the top and at the bottom. And as you can see here, there is a selfie camera there. Whereas the Nokia 1.3 2020 is quite on par with trends. It has a 19 to 9 aspect ratio screen, it's a 720 by 1520 resolution screen, which is not only higher resolution, but it handles colors better, in my opinion. Not only that, it's overall a slightly tighter built device. It feels more solid in the hands, whereas the Nokia one, it feels a bit hollow and a bit too light to be true. Now, that's the, the core difference to most people will be the screen size, screen resolution, and how the screen looks. As far as operating systems go, they're both running Android Go Edition, or Android, in this case, I believe it's Android 9 Go Edition. Let's check. System update. So this is Android 9 Go Edition. It has been updated since I purchased it in 2018. So it has had one major operating system update. Whereas the Nokia 1.3, this is running Android 10 Go Edition, straight out of the box. Obviously, this is a brand new device. We wouldn't expect it any other way, but that's what it is running underneath. Let's just double check here. Uh, one of the key differences between the two is you can see the Android 9 Go Edition does not have dark mode. I haven't been able to find that in the settings. I don't think it is there. Whereas Android 10 Go Edition does have dark mode, which we introduced in a Tech Travel Geeks how-to video earlier this week. Right then, apart from the screen and the operating system version, what are the key differences? Well, to most people, the Android Go Edition will be perfectly functional. It's not pretty. It sometimes can be clunky with some t apps, in particular Google Maps. But apart from that, it's functional. Obviously on the Nokia One, the 2018 model, it's a smaller screen, therefore there's less space to actually get stuff done. Whereas on the Nokia 1.3, there's plenty more space. Now, apart from that, on the inside, there's different chipsets. The Nokia One is running a MediaTek quad-core chipset, which runs at a measly 1.1 gigahertz. This is extremely power efficient, but it works. Whereas the Nokia 1.3, the 2020 device, is running a Snapdragon chipset, which is a quad-core one running at 1.3 gigahertz. So it is a slightly faster one. But in terms of lithography, they're both 28 nanometer chipsets, they're comparable in terms of performance. Obviously, in terms of memory, as in RAM, they both have one gigabyte. So they perform very, very similarly overall. Obviously, the Nokia 1.3 has to 
push a lot more pixels for the higher resolution screen, that's quite a difference. One of the biggest other differences is the cameras on the back. So the Nokia One has a 5 megapixel camera, the Nokia 1.3 has an 8 megapixel one. The pictures on both are not great. Uh, you can check out the recent camera overview we did of Camera Go on the Nokia 1.3. And whilst the Nokia One can only record video in 480p, in, for, in standard definition video, at least the Nokia 1.3 can record HD video. We have a sample of that on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. Check that out. It's not great, but it is functional. And in terms of selfie cameras, the Nokia One, the 2018 model, has a two megapixel one, whereas the selfie camera on the 1.3 is a five megapixel one. So quite a big difference in the camera department. Now, both devices have courage port, 3.5 millimeter audio jacks. Those are great if you still use wired headphones. Both of them still charge using micro USB, and both of them have power and volume rockers on the right-hand side of the device, and the Nokia 1.3 has the addition of a Google Assistant button, similar to the one we saw on the Nokia 2 and the Nokia 2.2 on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. So overall, both devices have all the usual Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, capabilities. They both have GPS so that you can use it for Google Maps. Both of them do have FM radio, so you need to have a wired headset in that courage port to be able to use that, but it is there. And all the usual other specifications. There is a significant difference in battery size. So the battery in the Nokia One is a 2000 mAh battery, whereas the one in the Nokia 1.3 is a 3000 mAh battery. Both are removable, you can get spare batteries if you wish to. But the main difference is it's bigger in the Nokia 1.3. The Nokia 1.3 battery, in my experience, does last longer. And overall, it is a better value device in 2020. So if you're out and about considering buying a cheap smartphone whilst traveling, or you just really need a cheap smartphone, if you can afford the price difference that you will currently see in the shops, Whilst going through the differences and similarities between the two, the Nokia 1.3 is definitely a big step forward on the Nokia 1. Not only that, you get a newer operating system with better software and better overall screen. Ultimately, the screen is what you interact with most on a smartphone. And as you can see, there's more screen to work with when you are using your smartphone. So that's just a quick overview of the differences and similarities between the Nokia One from 2018 and the Nokia 1.3 from 2020. Thank you for watching this comparison between these two smartphones. If you have any comments, just leave them below this video. Give us a like, give us a sub here on YouTube, and we'll be back with another video soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.